Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my Let's Play The Sims 4 Starving Artist Challenge. Morgan is just playing away here, working on her song right now. We're going to kind of hang out here for a little bit, see if we can get some tips. We just got one, so that's a good start. Looks like we might be getting another one. Awesome. So yeah, we'll hang out here for just a little bit, see how how well we do. Maybe we'll go in stand over here. That might be a better place to go. Although people are walking in and out over here, so we'll see. There are a lot of people walking down the street today. Everybody come inside and everybody give me a tip. This seems like a pretty happening place right now. It's like the local Starbucks. <laughs> everybody's getting snacks, everybody's getting coffee. Everybody seems to be having a good time. Some people are dancing. Hopefully they're dancing to my music and not this music, but whatever. So I think we've gotten about three tips. Well, now here we've gotten four. Um, wow, we're getting quite a bit here. So we'll just keep right on playing. Definitely seems to be a good place to hang out today. If we could get a couple hundred dollars in tips, that would be awesome because we don't work today. Yeah, we don't work today. And so we're just hanging out, working on our song. I don't recall how much we started with, but I think we've ar we're already up to six or seven tips. So she's doing quite well. We could stop and... What happened to you? You kind of were having a little seizure there, buddy. <laughs> Oh, look, he's drinking a cappuccino. <laughs> he's swirling it around in his cup. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, this is there's an awful lot of people in this place for it being as small as it is. Everybody seems to be content now, and I think we've probably got a tip from almost everybody that's here. I wonder if it would be a good idea to change locations now. Huh, there's a programming book right sitting right there. I wonder if it belongs to somebody. I wonder if there's anything else in here to read. Let's open it up and see what books there are. Nope, there's no, nothing else in there to read. There, all the books are on the counter. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Oh, she needs to use the restroom. Probably should give her a break. Let's just see if there's anybody that's going to give us an, um, another tip. Otherwise, we'll take a break. And let's see, she's about um, about 20%, a little bit more than 20% done with her song. So we'll go ahead and take a break and go to the restroom. And maybe we'll order ourselves a snack as well. Order food. Can we order food? Mm, how do we order food? Order food. Okay. Um, for here. Might as well. Let's order... Let's order a scone. We'll see how well that that satisfies our hunger. And then maybe we could sit down and read this programming book. Not that we have a computer or anything like that. What book is this? That just looks like a novel. I wonder if there's any books anywhere else that are just kind of laying around that people have not put away. Mm, I don't see anything. I don't see anything else. Oh, but I could look upstairs. I didn't even go upstairs. Oh, yeah, I think I did go up here. And then there's this out outdoor seating area. Oh, that probably would have been a better place to go, although... I'm not sure. There, nobody seemed to be coming up here, although a couple people did come up, but they didn't stay up here for very long. But this is a cute little place. 
Another good spot would probably be just to stand out here in the vestibule. vestibule. All right, are we going to get our snack? Oh, we didn't get our snack. So I guess we're just eating that now. That's fine. She says, somebody won't get me my scone, so I'm just going to take care of it myself. Oh, she's going to go up there. Okay. Where are you going to go sit? Are you going to sit on the couch? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Who is this? Let's ask her about her day. Okay. <laughs> you had to stand up to sit back down again. <laughs> so she wants to license a guitar song. We'll have to look to see. I can't remember if we got this today. We must have gotten that today. I don't remember actually. We'll have to go and check out our um, I mean this it says two days ago but I think it was two days ago that I think that was real time versus sim time. Well this little girl's like likes to work out. <laughs> She's just doing random sit-ups right there. Okay, well, um, Morgan is getting a little tired, so I might have her take a nap. Maybe we can have her take a nap. Will she be able to take a nap while this little girl's sitting there? Oh, she's going <laughs> to she's gonna sleep sitting up. <laughs> okay. Can you sleep laying down? <laughs> I've never had my Sim do that. I wonder if I could sleep in the chair, if I could sleep in this chair. I could sit there. I don't know. That's kind of funny. Alright, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I don't know if she would get better sleep if she were laying down. That just does not look comfortable at all with her head bobbing like that. She's gaining some energy, but I don't think it's very fast, and I don't think she's getting as much as she could be getting if she was napping, laying down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her um, finish this nap, and then I'm going to have her lay down all the way and, um, and take a nap. Hopefully, it will go pretty quickly. I don't know why this is showing up. Okay, that was weird. All right, so she should be, oh, now she's not going to be able to lay down because <laughs> this crazy woman decides to come and lay, sit down on the chair right as she's getting ready to go. Oh, and she wants to read the, read the piano book. Why do you want to read the piano book? You don't need to read the piano book. We should actually sell that book. All right, I think when you're done napping, um, maybe you could work on your song a little bit more. And... Um, Maybe people will come up here and give you a tip. We'll see. We'll see if that happens. Um, and then we probably could call a friend and see who we could call. We could call um, we could call Eliza or Elsa um, and maybe spend the night at her house tonight. She's almost done. But we should call a few other people. Oh, now she's energized. Okay. So we'll see if she gets it. She gets um, any more tips here. Who else? I need to really get back to looking at the the map view when I'm in map view and write down who lives in town, who doesn't live in town. I know Carla lives in town. We're only friends with her, so maybe we'll. We'll call and chat with her for a little bit. Marcus. We don't know him that well, but we just probably just met him. We could call um, Tina himself, my himself. Call and chat with her. 
Let's see who else can we call and chat with. King, he was downstairs earlier. And I don't know if he's still there, but we can call and chat with him. Oh, Eve died? Oh my gosh, Eve died. What was her son's name? Her son's name. What was his name? He has to have aged up by now. Uh, what was Eve's son's name? We'd have to go see him so we can um, give him our condolences. I'm pretty sure she talked to Eve's son. But for the life of me, I can't think of his name. I might have to go back to a previous episode when we went to Eve's house all the time. And so I can find out his name because that's so sad. That's so sad that Eve died. We don't even know the son's name to go and give him condolences. He's got to be an adult by now. He was a child when we first started hanging out with, with Eve. We're still getting pretty good tips here today. But we're now we're getting hungry again, so... We might have to go ahead and leave. Actually, I might have her stop working on that right now. So she can call these people. And then possibly we will... We will go and... Um, see if we can visit Elso or somebody we're good friends with. Yeah, I can't believe Eve, Eve died. That's so sad. She's... An elder, but she's a ghost. <laughs> Can we call her on the phone? No. <laughs> Too bad. Can't call the afterlife. Yeah, I cannot remember that kid's name. Okay, so let's see. Let's go over to... Let's travel with... Um, We'll travel with um, Elsa. So we're both at her house and hanging out when she, when we get there. We haven't been to her house in a couple days. So we'll go hang out there. Maybe we'll sleep for a little while. And then we'll go back to our place and sleep for the rest of the night. Does this woman want to talk to us for some reason? Yeah, bef between episodes, I will make some notes about who lives in town so we can try and track some people down and possibly become friends with more people. I know there are still a bunch of people who we haven't met and we haven't been able to go to their house. So... And even when we have had an opportunity to go to the neighborhood where those people live, we still have not been able to meet them. Okay, let's go ahead and let's chat with her for a minute and then we'll go in and what do we have in the refrigerator? We have some breakfast scramble. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and cook something for dinner. Let's serve dinner. I mean, we technically could eat the breakfast scramble, but I think we should make something new. Let's make butternut gnocchi. This is a cute little kitchen. I, I really like this house, actually. It's got a, um, a nice little design. Not a lot of um, just square rooms. I like it. It has a nice front porch, a nice little living area. It's small, but it definitely has character. And then upstairs we've got two bedrooms two bedrooms the little balcony here like a little 
little nook area for kids to color. It's got two bathrooms up here. And there's one bathroom downstairs, so that that's a lot of bathrooms for a tiny house like this. Three three bathrooms. I think there's it's a full bathroom downstairs also. But this would definitely be an awesome house for um, a young couple with two kids. Okay. Yeah, it's not a very big house, but it's definitely got a lot of character. It's, it's laid out very nicely. Okay. Making the gnocchi. Is she going to eat some? She's gonna. She's drinking something. Milk or juice or water. Not sure. Water. That's probably how she stays so skinny. She just drinks water. <laughs> so we'll put these uh, this away when she's done with eating her her dinner and she needs a shower so we might just go ahead and take a shower while we're here yeah it is a full bathroom down here take a speedy shower and then we'll see what time it is if it's not too late we'll go ahead and go home but it might be it might be too late. It might just be easier to... What are you watching? It might just be easier to sleep here for the night. Yeah, I just really love this house. It's just really, really quaint. In fact, if... Um, I don't know how much the house costs, but I might even put this house in for her, in her on her lot. I don't know if it'll fit or not. We might have to move some things around, but this is a really cute lot. We'll have to see. So she's gonna go take a, ba a shower and it is 12 o'clock now, so I think I will have her just sleep here for the night. Spray the monsters under the bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's probably from the new kid stuff pack. go ahead and sleep there it probably wasn't a good idea to take a speedy shower because that's gonna make her energized and then she's gonna go try to sleep if I was energized right before going to bed I would not be able to sleep so that was probably not <laughs> the best laid plan we'll see she's still wearing her her Christmas stuff maybe I'll see if there's a uh, a dresser up here that we can change our outfit and I'll do that between episodes if we have time yeah so we're just about out of time for this episode anyway so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it there and I will pick back up after she gets home from work because um, she will have work tomorrow oh my goodness we haven't practiced our music Oh no, when do we work? Oh, we don't work until 5 p.m. Okay, well we've got plenty of time to do that then. So I guess I'll just end the episode here and then I'll pick up when she wakes up because we have a lot of time before she has to go back to, to work. I didn't realize that she, when she got her promotion, her hours changed. So um, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I hope you will come back and check out the next one. Bye for now.